everybody today we're going to be doing a video all about shower steamers so below here I do have all the ingredients and everything we need and I will step you through it I'll give you the recipe as we go along so just keep listening and I will definitely give you the recipe I'll give you a couple tips as well uh, because um, there are a differences to making these to our bath bombs they're quite different but anyway let's get going and we will actually make them now I here I do have my mold so I'm using this this is from Lee molds so it's a three pack so we basically got our top our bottom which is going to sit inside here and then our little top which is going to sit on top so it's basically going to end up this kind of shape like a flat one now remember when you're doing ones for the shower don't do the balls because if you do the balls they are much much harder uh, to look after so and of course they're just going to roll away anyway aren't they so anyway let's just get going and we will make this gorgeous shower steamer now first things first so we have our scale here I've torn it out and inside here you will be able to see some little crystals these are menthol crystals now to get these to melt they're not going to melt in water they need to melt in either isopropyl which is alcohol or they need to melt in the essential oils the best way to melt them down is actually warming up your alcohol or warming up your essential oils so a double boil is probably best you could even just have you know a container with hot water and sit that in top of course make sure they're heat safe uh, and so on but I've already done the warming up so let's just pop this one on here so we have three grams of menthol crystals in here and now inside my warm jar in here this liquid you can see this is actually isopropyl so uh, which is rubbing alcohol you probably noticed that this is a 99% one so you need to have it a high percent uh, there's no good using 70 it's not as good you really need to use about the 99 so we're going to add this in and there is seven grams in here so let's just add it in and we've added it in so now we're just going to literally mix this until it's melted now you can probably see already a lot of it's already melted but keep mixing it until you literally mix everything uh, right down and this is going to be how we're going to get the scent and so on once this is all melted down then we're going to go and add our essential oils and we'll pop this aside um, because we need all of this bit done before we do the other bit because if this isn't done it's not melted down well of course we're not going to get that strong smell that you want um, you know for your oils uh, sorry for your shower steamers so I'm going to just set that one aside before we do lots of other things so and then that's going to help it just every now and then I'll just give it a little swizzle now of course it is similar to making a bath bomb so to the side here I do have this so this is my little container um, that we're going to make this in as well um, so let's just make this let's just tear out the scales I'm just going to tear it out so now we've got this on here now what I actually want to do is I want to put um, some bicarbonate soda in it now the the um the one thing that I have to tell you is the bicarb and the citric ratios are quite different in a shower steamer because if you can imagine you actually don't want this to fizzle and spin and everything like that we don't want that and we want it to spin less so I put a lot less um, citric acid than I usually would in a bath bomb so anyway but I'm going to give you all of those as we go along and of course we want to sift this through to make sure it's nice and flat I've already sifted mine so what I'm going to do is just literally pop it in here uh, let me just double check on my scale all right so my scale is uh good so we want 400 grams in here now i've already added a color you could just keep it white it doesn't need to add a color uh it just depends on what you want you could double sift it uh but it's not like a bath bomb it doesn't need to be exactly right All right, so 400 is in here you can see I've got this gorgeous green color now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a rub in my hands just to try and get any lumps and bumps out because uh, I have pre-made it you can bloom any bath bomb or shower steamer mixture you know months in advance you don't need to wait till the last minute because you're not adding in a hardener you're only adding in colors uh, if you want to know how to do that just go back and check some of my videos 
um, and the, I've got a video just on how to bloom which blooming just means color just add the color uh, but you may not want to one thing that I've definitely changed in my shower steamers is I don't add um, you know like all the botanicals anymore because the one thing that I noticed and people were saying to me is they didn't want to be buying um, shower steamers that had botanicals because they're going down their drain and clogging up the drain so um, I took all of that out so now it's literally just the powder um, and of course they come in a beautiful box uh, and then of course I've got colors for each one so now you can see that's quite smooth it's quite good uh, don't need to stress too much about that now I'm going to tear out my scale again now the citric acid of course we all know that goes in last don't we uh, so but what I actually want to do is just make sure I'm adding everything else in here so now in my little container here remember we were mixing up this this is all pretty much melted it's pretty good so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in my essential oils into this and then we're literally going to uh, you know just pour it in here I mean it's really not that hard to you know to make these at all uh, you know look you can put oil in and I usually do add a little bit of oil the reason I'm adding oil is really simple to be honest it helps bind it together uh, but some people don't they're just going to add water in it just depends on how you want to make it uh, so to get all this we're just going to move that aside because I forgot that I need to tear this out don't I now I'm going to be adding in three grams of essential oils you can add in whatever you like um, there's no right or wrong um, you know uh, because remember this is not going on your skin um, so we've just added a tiny bit more it's almost four so basically this is going to be going into here so let's just pop this back onto the scale and what I'm going to do is literally just pour this directly in here try and get as much out as we can and then we're going to mix it you can mix it by hand I just give it a little mix with a spatula first now of course this is not going to be enough liquid so if you want to use water you can add some water to it I suggest using witch hazel and I am going to be adding in a tiny little weeny bit um, of oil I'm just going to be adding in quarter of a teaspoon um, of sweet almond oil into this mixture as well you can add whatever you like I would definitely say don't add it you know um, really expensive um, your oils because it's not going on the skin it's literally going on the drain but the oils just going to help it keep together so let me just add like I said my quarter in there and then you can just mix it together now inside here as well I am going to be adding in cream of tartar cream of tartar will actually help this stick together um, if you and keep it hard so if you don't add this in it's going to be all floury and it will not hold its um, shape so let's just add this in so in here what are we going to be adding in here because I've got my recipe I've had to change my recipe a few times so I've got 20 grams in here um, so it's about 20 grams if you think you need more you can add more don't think you can't usually I'll add about two tablespoons um, you know like you just want to make sure it's going to stay hard um, probably actually I reckon maybe even try 40 grams not 20 depends if you live in a drier climate it will be fine if you live in a more moist or snowy climate add more uh, so that's basically my idea with doing that and now we are going to be adding in the citric acid now if you can see it looks very dry doesn't it and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that being dry that's what we want so now we're going to be adding in 150 grams of citric acid usually I wouldn't buy it like this but I haven't made any steamers for quite some time so that's why I decided to buy it just like this pour it in mix it all up and you'll be able to tell because once you add everything in it should stick together and if it's not it means you need to add some more ingredients as I said we haven't added the witch hazel usually I add a few sprays of that so let me just grab that so we've added 
added five sprays and we basically just want to mix it up until it's just holding. Now remember because we have um, the menthol crystals one thing that's important to remember is they actually after a little while they will start acting different in here. So let me just take that off. So it's not like a bath bomb. Like I said, we have these crystals in here. Now, can you see with that little bit already how it's already holding up? All right, so it's pretty good. Look how hard that is. You can see that is going to hold up fine. So now we are literally going to get ready and make everything. Now we're going to just get our scale ready. If you're making anything, uh, you have to remember, this is super important. If you're going to be making anything like this and you're going to be selling it, it's important to put this on here and weigh it uh, because somebody is buying this. Uh, that's really important because you want to make sure that you know your weights are right if you say it's 40 grams it needs to be 40 grams so let's just pop it in the top here um, and so already that is saying 37 and mine I always sell them for 45 so it means I'm going to add a little bit extra um, but not too much extra because you know it needs to be fairly right just going to add a weeny bit more on there because obviously we have some here. Um, so just add a tiny bit more. We're going to push the lid on. You do not need a machine or anything. Just literally push it down. You know, you can have a handheld one or you can have an electric one. I simply, uh, I've got a hand one, but honestly, I hardly ever use it. So basically, we're just going to pop it out. And that's literally what it's going to look like. I mean, it's pretty simple, isn't it, really? And then we're just going to pop this on the tray. So simple as that. And you can see it's holding up even in my hand. So it will be fine. So that's as simple as that is going to be, isn't it? So let's just get on to the next. Make sure you tear your scale out and, scale out and double check as you go along. So I'm going to make mine to be 50 grams because like I said, I sell them at 45. So, and just, you know, like just wiggle it. Make sure you wiggle back and forward. Um, or like I said, you can easily, um, you know, use a hand press or whatever you want to use. There's no right or wrong. I mean, that's the thing. Lots of people tell you it's right or wrong, but it's really not. It's just however you want so there you go, that one is beautiful and done. I'm going to just pop it on the tray to the side. All right, I'm going to keep making these. I'll bring you back when I've done them and I will show you. So here they are, everybody. We have made them. So you can see here that there's 12 of them all together and that's what you're going to get out of this. So we're going to leave them here to dry probably until maybe about five hours time. And then I can package them up. It's quite warm in here. I do keep my studio at about 23 degrees at all times. So I have um, a split air conditioner um, that's always on. And if you put it onto the dry setting, that's actually a dehumidifier. So, but always make sure that your room is at the right temperature. If you're making things in a shed, it'll be really cold. And sometimes they will not work because of that. Um, or they can expand, which means that they've got too much water in them. So just try really hard not to be heavy handed with the water. That is the most important thing that I can definitely tell you. But anyway, we're going to let them dry. And once they're done, I will seal them up. I will show you the whole process. And um, I'm sure you're going to love them. So it is the next day, everybody. And you can see that I have already shrink wrapped these up. So these are looking beautiful. And then, of course, I do have my uh, new boxes already. And remember, there was another video that I did do showing you um, my professional um, boxes. So that's what these ones are going to look like. And then, of course, we are just going to pop them in there. They fit 
snugly in there which is perfect because we don't want them moving um, and anyway and don't they look gorgeous so that's it and um, we have made them but I mean I hope that you have liked watching the process uh, and so on and of course as I said the recipe is there so make sure you give me a thumbs up that really does help my little videos um, and helps everyone to see that I'm trying to give you some valuable content along the way because uh, you don't just want to watch something you also want to get a recipe or maybe you know some helps or tips or tricks or something like that along the way but as I said, all done for now, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, friends.